Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Richard Stevens commented on one of my videos, uh, this latest one, um, saying, you know, if you only had two watches, and it got me kind of thinking, let, you know, I, I might as well do a video on it real quick. And I think that's a perfect topic. If you only had two watches, um, you guys pick those two watches, whatever ones you like. But in my opinion, I mean, if you had a really good Rolex uh, Datejust, nice automatic movement, elegant, beautiful, uh, just you know, great to, great to have, you know, great to wear, comfortable. Um, and then you had yourself like a really good quartz movement. Uh, he mentioned a, um, a Seiko, um, a Grand Seiko quartz movement. Okay. Which is going to be a thermo compensated movement, super accurate, or you can get a Swiss thermo compensated movement. Um, something that comes in like a bright lean or, you know, there's other ones that make it. But if you had something like that, that's a good combination. You've got a quartz, you've got an automatic, um, both high quality. Um, I mean, that would work. It would work for anybody. Um, younger people, obviously, you don't want to stop at two watches, you know. if it, As long as you're able to make money and continue to purchase what you want, you can have more than two watches in your collection. Um, if you're retired, you're older, and you know maybe you had to sell off some of your your you know watches or different things to to make your retirement a little more comfortable possibly, and you only have one watch or two watches, that's fine too. It all depends on what your what your current you know situation is, but having two watches, even only having one watch, is as long as it's a good, durable, you know, solid piece, that's all you need. I mean, you really don't need anything more than that. You know, um, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave your comments below. Um, thank you for viewing my channel. I really appreciate it. But I just thought that'd be a very good topic. Um, you know, I mean, if you're a diver, you probably want to have a good, you know, dive watch. You know, and if you only had one, then have a Submariner. If you're just a working professional and, you know, you go out on the weekends and, do some exploring here and there and you know some you're a little adventurous on the weekend stuff like that you can you can run with a explorer one or a date just and that's all you really need you know it's all you really need and you don't really necessarily have to have a date function i mean you have everyone's got a cell phone so you know what you know date it is and um and day you know and all that kind of stuff but um i like having a date function that's i mean especially on a rolex because you have the magnifier the cyclops i mean it's super you look at it and you see it right away immediately but uh, I've had watches without them, you know. Uh, one of my favorite watches was the Speedmaster, which I don't currently have in my possession right now, but I'll probably someday obtain one. Um, and then I really like the um, Rolex Submariner No Date, you know, the 14060. That's a classic sub. It's beautiful. It's even the older ones, you know, the 5513, 5512. There was no dates on those. That's a great watch to have right there. Um, but anyway, guys, just throwing in some uh, some more, uh, you know, throwing in my two bits real quick. Uh, but anyway, hey, you guys take care. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.